Hi. So is Lenin's lip sleeping mask any better than Vaseline lip balm? This question has been in my head for a few months. Currently I'm using Vaseline as lip balm and I was really eager to try and figure out if Lenin's lip mask is really worth the hype. So I got one for myself. If Lenin's lip mask is working for you, I'm really happy for you and I'm not here to disappoint you. This is for someone who is planning to try the lip mask for the first time. And this video will prepare you in terms of what to expect and what are the possible fails that you might face with the product. I got this lineage lip mask in one plus one offer from Beauty Barn during one of their sales. I didn't want to spend like 750 rupees or so on the big quantity, the big tub and later realized that I didn't like it. So I got the mini versions. This is something that I have been doing lately and I think trying the minis is better than buying the large product itself when the product is of high cost. As I have already mentioned, before I bought this, I have been using the OG Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Tiny Tub as lip balm and I also use the same tub for slugging too. It is basic no-nonsense and easy to use product which also works equally well for me no matter whether it is summer, winter or rainy. My lips never feel dry. It just works perfect for me for face, body, lips. <laughs> so I thought a lot about spending extra money to buy Laneige lip mask hoping to work better than this. Sure, Laneige lip mask has elegant and classy finish. This mask is so smooth and slides very well. On the other hand, Vaseline has a basic finish and spreads fine. Laneige feels a bit glossy and uh, pasty after application. It literally, it literally feels like something is sitting on my lips. If I apply a little less, I feel like my lips are going to peel off dry. Vaseline gives a healthy, naturally shiny look and lips become immediately nourished and soft. It feels so comfortable and so soothing. I fell in love with this instantly. Laneige is quite heavy and is not suitable for daytime use for many people, I assume. Whereas Vaseline is good enough for both AM and PM unless you are looking for some sunscreen filters or that SPF 15 or 30 lip balm. And uh, Laneige gives off that cherry fruity smell whereas Vaseline is quite neutral and doesn't bother even people with sensitive nose. Vaseline is multi-purpose whereas Laneige is, isn't obviously. Ingredients wise, if we see, Vaseline is quite simple with just petrolatum, which is a great occlusive and prevents water loss from lips. Laneige has several emollients like shea butter, murmuro butter, sodium hyaluronate, ascorbyl glucoside and many plant extracts. Laneige seems super fancy and uh, however, the performance varies greatly for individual to individual. With Laneige, my lips became super dry and scaly in the morning. I tried this around 3-4 to four nights in a row and sometimes on different days by giving gaps in between and I could not tolerate the dryness of my lips in any of the way. However, I tried to use it. My lips always were dry and I just uh, every time came rushing to the Vaseline to fix it. From my personal experience, I say that Laneige is so overhyped and it doesn't really work for everyone. So don't have high hopes on that if you are someone who really loves Vaseline and lip balm. So, that's all folks. I'm not ever going to buy this again. I'm just seeing different ways to use it up. Most probably I might throw it probably. Um, I'll see if anyone else in the family or friends like it. I have to check on that. Anyway, thanks to this. This will save my day and night every time. That's it. Um, hope you heard everything you have to hear. Um, thank you. Bye.